Previously on The Potentialists. Happy Fourth of July! How oh dare I panic? Knowledge is power, power is knowledge. Captain America. What you got, buddy? Sonic Boom. Anytime that we can do this together as a family, we do it. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. A power social is a place where like-minded individuals go to actually connect with each other and build relationships. We just socialize, that's what it's about. It's not about business, it's not about exchanging cards, it's just about friends. They're fun, they're great. We have a good time, we get to meet new people every time we have one. I know I love having more friends in my life. If you want to have more friends in your life, then you gotta come to our power social. Make it happen! At one of our power socials, we had the honor of having Mr. Dylan Oliva there. And he was such a charming young man that everybody was so glad to be pulled to the side and ask questions behind the microscope of the camera that was aimed at them. <laughs> and why are you here? I'm here because I'm friends with your dad. I'm here because I'm friends with Bert and Alexa. I drove all the way down from Boca Raton. I'm happy to be here. It was kind of cool because Dylan was just being the perfect little host. He was serving people, bonding with them, and asking them questions, and he's just so charming. What can I say? My name is George Dubeck, and I'm here at Bert Oliva's social networking night on Friday night. We meet here and we get an eclectic group of people together and we get to know each other and we have a great time. We always have a real good time. And I like to take pictures. George is an amazing person, to say the least. <laughs> like I said, power socials are for friends. And some friends get so comfortable, they take their clothes off and end up in Speedos. We're gonna see what George is doing. He is going to take the dare of going into the jacuzzi wearing his Speedo. Speedo man. What are you gonna do? I am the only man that can wear something like this and get away with it. I'm 66 years old. I can do three hours of swimming, 800 push-ups. So Mr. George decided to honor us with with his 66 year old body, which is a pretty good one, and jump into the hot tub. So he did. Are you gonna go in? Yeah. He's going in, peoples. Oh my God. It's freezing in there. Heater. <laughs> Chili for a hot tub. I, I call it a cold tub. This is your first time. I've never been with such an older man. <laughs> <laughs> nice legs though. I was one of the people who dared George to wear his Speedos because I heard about some picture of him on Instagram wearing the Speedo. He said, I'll wear it tonight. And I said, yeah. I'm, I had no idea he was actually going to do it. When I turned around, I saw that man wearing the Speedo with the whole mask. I was in shock. I gotta tell you, I was not expecting that. That was awesome. <laughs> He's in such a good shape. That bikini, speedo. A speedo. Oh, a bikini. I'm, I'm sorry. A speedo. What do you do at a moment like that? You do not indulge. <laughs> you take a picture. It's a Kodak moment. It's a Kodak moment. <laughs> totally. Tonight is Friday at one of our socials. I want you to take a look at all the people that are here hanging out with us. Oh, and that's Eric and the lady who's made the food all night long. Hi, Sarah. Hey, LJ, what's going on? Shh, they're playing a game. This is a George Dubeck game. Lots of fun. In the 1970s, Mr. George Dubeck invented a game called Personality Probe. It has two versions. One is Personality Probe and the other one is Sexuality Probe. And wow, what a game <laughs> it was. We are collecting everyone's answers yeah. Yeah. and yeah. the question yeah. was to yeah. 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 one word. Collect off your, uh, your little note things in there. We don't want no cheating. No cheating. <laughs> I saw what he put. She's gonna read each response and then we all get a chance to guess who said what. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the answer, kissing. kissing. Audrey. I say it's Audrey. I say it's Audrey, yeah, for sure. I look bang to you, is that your what you're father, saying? Your father, I hate to say. <laughs> Alexa has four points oh, and George Whoa. has five points. Yeah. Oh. 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 And we had a blast. 
laughed a lot. I think everybody's abs hurt them the next day. It was an awesome night. Right now, we are in a time in our life where people are not really connecting with each other. When I was growing up, you would go ahead, report, go home, and then go out and play and come back before night falls. Now, we don't let our children out. So their best friend that lives across the street is playing with them over the internet. What has happened is that people are not touching and connecting with each other the way we used to. And that's one of the things that needs to be done. There's a difference between texting someone, sending them an email, or even talk to them on the phone than when you meet a person face to face. And that's what I like about these power social is that you can actually connect with people one on one. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?